Hello! In today's video, I will show you the whiskey bottling process. Unfortunately, I did not record a video of making this whiskey at home, but this year I will make it again, so in the near future there should be a video on how to make whiskey at home. Enjoy today's video! The first thing to do is to pour out the whiskey from the barrel. We pour our whiskey through a coffee filter or gas in order to get rid of small particles that might have been in the barrel. During the whole bottling process try to use glass or stainless steel vessels. I do not recommend using plastic containers. After the barrel is completely empty, check the strength of our whiskey and decide to what strength we will dilute the final product. Now it's time for a little experiment and some theory. According to the legend, in 1970s, an importer from America returned the entire whiskey shipment. The whole product got cloudy when it was waiting to be unloaded in the port during the frost. As it turned out later, whiskey with a strength of less than 46% became cloudy when cold. To prevent this, the producers, after aging whiskey in oak barrels, subjected the drink to cold filtration. That means they chilled the alcohol to about 2 degrees Celsius and then passed through a dozen or so to several dozen paper filters as a result of which they got rid of chemical compounds responsible for the turbidity of alcohol. So let's do a little experiment. We take two glasses and to one of them we pour whiskey with a strength of 53% and the same alcohol into the other one only diluted to a strength of 43%. After a minute, we put a piece of ice into both glasses and leave it for 2 minutes. After this time, we see that the alcohol in the right glass is slightly cloudy. I don't know if you can notice any difference on the screen, I will try to direct the light source at the different angles so that you can see the differences between glasses as much as possible. We go back to our whiskey. I dilute my product to 46% to avoid filtration. For diluting, I use double filtrated tap water. You can use spring water or demineralized water. It is best to test a small sample before diluting the batch. Also, bear in mind that the product right after diluting might be cloudy and contain air bubbles. Therefore, after diluting to the proper strength, leave the whiskey for 15 to 20 minutes and then pour it into the bottles. I use the coffee filter again when tapping to make sure that absolutely nothing but whiskey gets into the bottle. If you like the video, please leave the thumbs up and a comment. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel.